toe down to a possible showdown, shutdown, with the federal government just days away from running out of money. The White House and Congress wage war over the budget. And as President Trump nears his 100th day in office, analysts say his team is certainly looking for a big win. But KKL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan is here with a look at one campaign promise the president seems to be bending on as all the talks and everything heats up. Dave. Yeah, that's right. You had sort of two things coming down the track at the same time and uh, close to a collision maybe, but it looks like that will be avoided perhaps. Tonight there are reports of a pretty dramatic new development. President Trump appearing to be backing away from his insistence that billions of dollars for building the border wall be included in any budget rescue plan to keep the government from closing down this coming weekend. President Trump met at the White House Monday night with two of his sharpest Republican critics, John McCain and Lindsey Graham, senators from Arizona and South Carolina. And during a whirlwind day, he also met with conservative journalists, including one America White House reporter, Trey Yingst, who tweeted, on funding the border wall, Trump said he could get it this week or the administration could come back to it in September. That could be a game changer in a hectic week. President Trump's apparent willingness to back off when insisting that funding for the border wall be included in this week's budget bill appears to be an admission that there weren't enough votes to assign a couple of billion dollars to building the wall right now. It would clear the way for bipartisan agreement on a government funding plan this week to avoid a government shutdown on Saturday, President Trump's 100th day in office. It's also a victory for Democrats who rallied against the wall. The cost of the wall is staggering. The opposition was led by Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer. The Trump administration has not shown us any specific plans about how and where the wall will be built. How high will it be? How much will it cost? The reported concession comes at a major cost to President Trump, for whom the border wall was a foundation of his campaign, and now will be showing almost no significant progress during the first 100 days, as candidate Trump promised it would. We're going to build that wall. Don't even think about it. And who's going to pay for the wall? Mexico. Who? Among the 28 points in candidate Trump's contract with the voters was a promise to introduce a bill in his first 100 days in office that would force Mexico to ultimately pay for the wall and a variety of other promises that have not been done yet. To totally renegotiate NAFTA. Repeal and replace Obamacare. We're going to end Common Core. Even on Monday, President Trump tweeted, the wall is a very important tool in stopping drugs from pouring into our country and poisoning our youth and many others. But in the end, the threat of a government shutdown on Mr. Trump's 100th day was a risk neither the White House nor Republicans in Congress were willing to take. We're not going to have a government shutdown. But House Speaker Paul Ryan told CBS this morning last month, money to build the wall will be found, even if it takes some time. The big chunk of money for the wall really is next year's, next fiscal year's appropriations, because they literally can't start construction even this quickly. As for the 28-point contract with the voters, CBS News reports President Trump has fulfilled or taken steps to fulfill about half the issues addressed in the contract by issuing executive orders, including withdrawing from the Trans-Pacific Partnership trade deal, and perhaps most prominently nominating and having confirmed Supreme Court Justice Neil Gorsuch. And I got it done in the first 100 days. That's even nice. But on legislative matters listed in the contract, the White House hasn't sent to Congress any of the 10 bills promised for the first 100 days. Most prominently, his promise to repeal and replace Obamacare, which collapsed last month before any specific bill was even introduced. We all learned a lot. As for the critics. I think when you look at the totality of what we've accomplished, you can cherry pick any couple of things and say, okay, well, what about this or that? But I think when you look at it overall, those pieces are not small, but I'm saying in terms of overall, what he has accomplished has been unbelievably significant. And still to come this week, President Trump's tax reform plan that could reportedly reduce the corporate tax rate from 35 to as low as 15 percent. We're trying to get it down to anywhere from 15 to 20 percent.
Now, the president may introduce that tax reform plan on Wednesday, but already CNN is reporting some Republicans feel the plan could be DOA if the massive corporate tax cuts would spike the national debt. So even that's not clear yet. Dave, is this, uh, do you think it'll damage, uh, be damaging to the president that he may have to abandon the funding for the border wall, at least for now? Well, it, it, it certainly could be. You know, there are a lot of factors at work here, and it depends on a number of things. First of all, I should say the president probably didn't have any alternatives. With three days left now to pass an emergency budget bill to keep the government open, what can you do? Could you imagine the fallout if on his 100th day in office the government closed down for lack of funding? I mean, the Democratic strategists would be dancing in the streets. I don't mean to belittle the seriousness of such a sh uh, shutdown that would hurt millions of, of Americans. But it would be a public relations disaster for the White House. Yes, some of his supporters who are focused on the wall might be disappointed, but it might be a small price to pay considering the other options. Lena, Elsa, back to you.